Hey, my name is Lily. I'm the creator behind MakeCraftGame.com, and today I'm doing an unboxing for ARCs. I am very excited to finally have this game. I've gone through so many iterations of it, I've played so many different versions of it, and I'm super excited to have the final version in front of me. So today I'm going over the four boxes that came with the Kickstarter, which would be the ARCs base game, which has, you know, our core game. We have our miniatures pack, which gives us plastic meeples instead of the wooden ones that come in the main box. We have our leaders and lore pack. And then we have the ARCs expansion box, because of course that needs to be the biggest box here. Now this one contains the campaign. So when uh, we hear about ARCs campaigns, this is the box you're looking at. However, you do need the base game in order to play the expansion. So. Let's get into it. I'm not gonna lie, I thought it was kind of fun. I just leave it like this. All right. Leaders and lore, miniatures pack. Expansion. Let's start with the base game. Configs and Collapse in Reach. Okay. Got our rule book. Ooh. Playing a chapter. Guess these are like the player aids. These pieces are huge. Holy crap. All right, so we've got our. Looks like we only have. Okay, so we've got four chipboards. Got, ooh, I'm so excited. Our map arcs. Oh man, this looks so different than our, I know, I know this board. I do. Um, this being a little bit more gray took me off to for a second, but it's just, I'm just remembering what it first looked like and how different this is. And it's so cool looking. So that's really fun. Love these boxes. All right, we got our divider. We have our player boards, our four colors. Our specialty dice. I'm not going to take them off the bag, but we got three different dice colors. Cool. We've got, oh, that's what the first player token looks like. That's really pretty. I love how silver it is. Um, so good job, delicious. Uh, these look like our um, player piece cues for that. We have our elder. Maybe these are leaders. So yeah, these are some of our leaders here. We're gonna put them back here. These are player pieces. We'll be sorting those in a second. More player pieces. We have our core deck here. Let's see. I see you can do it. I just don't see where. Ah. Okay, that's why this back looks so different. I was like, these are the backs I'm used to. Where are they? Okay, so here's our core deck. And these are our two player, three player. So this is basically the, if you're playing, showing you kind of what's out of play, depending on which player count you're at, which is very cool. Bags. And then we have our Have our two different decks. Oops, this is this deck. So you've got our lore, and you've got 
with the guild cards and they will say it at the bottom guild lore. All right. I'm not sure how I feel about this insert yet. It's not the most intriguing. Because I immediately think how to, how to spice it up. We'll wait until I know the extent of everything. But first, let's punch out some chipboard. My discard tokens, favorite of the game. Fuel, weapons, coins. Oh, these are also player pieces too, actually. So we're gonna have to sort those by color. We've got our cities and our star ports. Ambitions declared. Um, these are to help kind of link out spaces on the map. I already know I'm not going to like bags. I have my eye on something, but I don't know if it's a good idea. top of each other. More weapons, psionic. Oh, those are relics. For some reason I thought they remember them looking differently. So this miniature pack actually replaces a lot of these wooden pieces and I'm debating how I wanna, we'll keep them separate for now. But I'm gonna go grab something because I am obsessive. Instead of bags, I'm gonna just do this. I don't know if it's a good idea, but it's the one I want. So I'm not using as much space as I thought I would be, which is interesting in like potentially a good way. These are prayer pieces. This way I can put the cards in here. You can go in there. So we'll actually, let's do this and put this here. So this way. There we go. Get rid of that. Not the most efficient use of space for the base game, but I'm kind of okay with it. Delicious silica gel. I really like the wooden pieces. I'm a little concerned if I'm gonna like even like the uh, plastic ones. But I like having everything as well, so. No harm. Ever. And we still have one more grouping of clear pieces. 
almost wondering if I should put these in one and then I can, yeah, we'll just like put these over here and then we'll split the plate pieces um, across two. I say as I promptly put all of them in one. So that does upset things a little bit more. Hmm. Put it at the bottom. I feel like I could do this better and I'm not sure how. back and all right now I'm sure some things are actually gonna fit in this box as well but we're gonna put that to the side for now and actually let's open the one thing that I'm pretty confident is gonna go in that box which is our leaders and lore pack some more lore cards as well. So yeah, these are actually gonna go back in this box, so we'll bring it back out. Leaders go in here, oopsie. Okay, maybe this solution is a terrible one. Put these in here for now. This is definitely not final solution. This is just slowly being dumb. So I'll find something better for that. And when I do, I will let you. Okay, so let's open up the miniature back. Very cool. Okay. 
I'm gonna open up everything and then I'll know where I should throw things. And I think that might help me better understand what the heck I'm doing. All right, now for the bean. I'm the most afraid of. I'm very curious what is in here that requires so much space and weight. <gasps> Organizers! Ooh, oh, I'm about to have a lot of fun, aren't I? Oh no. Oh no. I should have opened this box first! Okay, so we have the Blight Reach Expansion Rulebook. We have the other rule, um, helpers. We have our flagship uh, board, player boards. Oh my god, there's so many in here, what? I should have opened this first. I'm a dumbass. We've got... And our... Oh, yay! Oh, I'm so happy! I was trying to be fancy. That was stupid. Got our campaign log. We've got more leaders. And then we have this. <sighs> okay. So we've got seven different um, chipboards. We will go through in a second. <sighs> pieces, bags for days, and it looks like we have our guild objective cards, more bags, we have dice, and a bunch more cards. Okay, so I guess I'm gonna open the cards First, is there an order to these that I want to keep? Or maybe I won't. Actually, I think I'm not going to open the cards because I don't know what they go to and I almost want to keep it a surprise for when I play. This one I will open because it's just guild cards. Or caretaker. Oh man, I don't... I'm not sure how these are organized and I'm not sure I'm ready for it. Okay. So these are the rules, it looks like. So we have our rolls, they're labeled, they've got A, B, and C on them. God, put this here. All right, it looks like it's time for some consolidation of things. So we're gonna be reaching across many areas. I wanna know what these are for. Okay, okay. So we're gonna go ahead and take our, these are our leader cards from the base game and from the Legion Lore Pack, and we're gonna go ahead and just put them in here. I use, I'm gonna use that as a divider. We also have all of these small cards from the base game, which I will also just go ahead and put in here as well. Um, this deck is the most important, let's keep it in the front. Well, I already organized some stuff, which is good. I'm wondering if, let's see if any place has a what's in the box organizer helper. we go. Organizing the box. 
Okay. So supposedly this can fit everything from the base game and the and the expansion as well. I should have opened this first. I should have thought about this. That was my mistake. But we're here now. I'll make it work. Small cards and unused fate sets. Use dividers in the wells. Oh, there are, are these the dividers? I'm not even sure what the heck that is. Uh, I'm gonna just ignore that. <laughs> there's too much stuff. Okay, so there's deep well stores, eight removable trays, four player trays, two map trays, the base game tray, and the campaign box. Okay, so these are clearly the player trays. So we're gonna go ahead and shift things here. wonder. I'm going to try something crazy and see if it works. I'm just going to do this for one because I want to see if it'll fit before I do it for all of them. I don't want to do a bunch of work just to undo it. I find it extremely interesting how like grungy the plastic pieces are. I love it. It's super cool. fit all of the wooden and plastic into one tray. I don't know if you're necessarily going to want to, but you can totally do it. And so therefore I am going to. So let's go ahead and just finish sorting these out. stuff. Still not exactly sure where the empire pieces are gonna go, but that's for later. If I could do this over again, I definitely would open the expansion box first. But just because I didn't know anything, I ended up doing more than I needed. Which is fine. It happens. Well, it was good because when I un opened up the, the base box, I sorted everything out, which is kind of nice.
those are our whoopsie, layer pieces. Helps if your hand isn't as unsteady as mine is. Perfect. Okay. So now we have these trays here. Um, so this is our base game box tray here. So let me smooth this up a little bit so you can see a little better. Yeah. So in here, we're going to put some stuff. Good. I was right to think that you were supposed to put the dice in a thing. Okay. So, goes there. Some dice over here. And some dice over here. And then lastly, we have the rest of it. <laughs> so put all of that there. There was some part of me that expected this piece to actually just be the Kane's piece from a chess game. Because um, that's what they used on TTS for a long time. And uh, my brain just never recovered from that. Okay, so that is our face game box. And that was everything I organized prior, so good there. Okay, and here we're gonna have extra MPH can share chamber with three star ports. Okay, so this one's a little bit tighter than the last one, so I can't necessarily put plastic and wood together in here. Um, which isn't good. Uh, okay. So, these do not want to fit nicely. That's probably why they said it can share space with things. Okay, so, I think now it's time to introduce our chipboard and see what's up with that. So we have these green tokens here that supposedly go in here. Ah, these are the dividers for the cards. Okay, I'm not gonna do that yet. That might be like an off camera thing, probably. Okay, so here are our card dividers. Okay, so there goes nine, ten. Okay, let's 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 bring. Yeah, there we go. Okay, we're gonna do this a bit better. So ten has eight pieces somewhere. I thought I saw tens pieces. Oh, here they are. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Perfect. This has been a slog. It's okay. I'm enjoying it, which is all that matters. Okay, 11 has... I'm going to go like that, and then just bring them forward as time goes on. So 11 has six pieces somewhere. So here, I've got these six guns. Well, 
13 doesn't have any. Up. 14 has four pieces somewhere. 14, 14, 14. Hey there. So. Fifteen has six pieces somewhere. Yeah. It has these bag A and bag B pieces that don't seem to go with anything, so I'm just gonna punch them out and we'll put them to the side. There's no more on that. The warden has a lot of pieces. So we've got these one, two, three, four, five, six pieces. And then the one, two, three, four, five, six pieces. So. While I'm putting these in bags now, I'm definitely gonna see if I can find something else to use with this because I feel like it could be cuter. And I'm not feeling how these are stacking with each other. Okay, so Overlord doesn't have any. 18 does. Let's see, 18 has nine pieces somewhere. Here they are. have any pieces. 20 has the one square. 21 has one square, which is this lightkin. 22 has six weirdness. Oh, okay. So 22 has these like, these are cute pieces. Let's go to 22, not 21, so we'll go there. 23 has, I think we have a chapter, which I'm gonna pull out, so that's empty. Chapter, and the um, first regent is put in here with the pieces. No, uh, 23, Inspirator has these creepy little eye guys. And then there's these two dice, don't know where they go, so they're gonna go in here. We have our bag A and bag B pieces, which I also don't know where they go, so we're gonna go ahead and put them in a bag and throw them in here. And I think that's it. I think we finally got there. just close everything up. There's so much scrap on this table that it's kind of hilarious. Okay, so we have our board, which slots in there beautifully. Um, bigger boards. Other player boards do kind of like our rule books on this side to kind of even out that lift. And then finally these pieces, which I don't know what goes in them, but there's still more room. So that's pretty cool. And finally, put it all together. And that is how the base game 
here it is. So the base game and the miniatures pack all went into the Blade expansion. So now that we got this big box together, it's time to figure out who we're gonna play with and have fun gaming.